What's up guys, welcome to the traditional yearly speed test comparison between the best of Apple and now the best of Samsung, the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We'll be testing out everything and I mean everything from gaming to apps opening to animations to rendering and much more. Before we begin, just to remind you, Samsung is currently offering insane pre-order gears for just limited time. This includes free storage upgrade up to $150 credit on your phone, $50 credit that you can use on a future Samsung purchase and also get insane $750 credit on your old phone trade-in. So use my special links in the description and don't miss out on this special offer. Alrighty, as usual, we're gonna start the test off by doing the good old power-up test. In 3, 2, 1, boom. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on the Galaxy S24 Ultra versus Apple A17 Pro on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's see which one comes on top. Okay. Wow, that was... That was definitely a draw at the same time. Wow, what a perfect kickoff to the speed test. I don't think we ever had a draw in boot up comparison when comparing Samsung and Apple before. Now for the warm up, as always, we're gonna get down to a Geekbench benchmark between both phones. Let's run it at the same time. Both phones are done, iPhone was a bit quicker, but you can see looking at these numbers, it has never been this close of a comparison between Samsung and Apple, nearly the same multi-core scores with iPhone having the lead when it comes to single core performance, but you can see how close these phones are in 2024. Gotta say big props to Qualcomm for stepping the game up when it comes to Android world. And a big thanks to Samsung for not using Exynos 2400 on their S24 Ultra. It comes with 8 Gen 3 worldwide. Now, let's kick off the apps opening test starting off with the basic apps first just to see the animations we're gonna launch phone dollar application on both phones here we go you can see that was incredibly fast and smooth let's exit at the same time wow that is beautiful extremely smooth on both phones it took samsung some time but i feel like this time they have really nailed the art of animation so moving on to settings Again, very smooth, very quick on both phones, exiting at the same time. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if that's the same case with the third-party apps, starting with, the, starting with the legendary game of the test, which is Subway Surfers. And let's see which one comes on top. Wow, that, that is another draw. Okay, first third-party game. Both phones are here at the same time. We're just going to start and leave them there. Spotify. That is, I think, another draw, pretty much the same time of loading on both phones. I think the S24 Ultra did a quick refresh, but I would call it a draw. Jumping out, beautiful smooth animations on both phones. Launching ChatGPT, that's a little bit quicker on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Quora, that is also faster on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let's see if we have smooth scrolling or not, so here we go. Okay, seems like it is very smooth on both phones. Now, normally we see like a initial lag of loading the whole UI on the Android side, but I don't see that anymore, which is a great, great news. Moving on to Instagram. And that is uh, very quick on both phones. I believe S24 Ultra was slightly faster loading up the latest feed. Checking out the scrolling performance, and very, very smooth on both phones. Yes, no performance issues whatsoever. Let's check out which one opens the Insta camera first. I think that is slightly quicker on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Loading up my profile. That is also very, very quick on both phones. Okay, the S24 Ultra took a little bit of time there, but I mean, that is just ridiculously fast on both devices. I must say, wow, Samsung has done their homework when it comes to optimizing the animation. This looks incredible. Not even my S23 Ultra had this good animations from the start. Next up, we have Twitter. I believe that's about the same on both phones. Again, both are loading a bit different UI. But you can notice that the lag that we used to have on Android phones, the scrolling lag, the famous Twitter scroll lag is finally gone. I guess we have to say thank you to Elon Musk, but yeah, this looks very, very good. Next on the list is YouTube. 
and that is definitely quicker on the iPhone I mean on the Galaxy S24 Ultra followed by the iPhone 15 Pro Max jumping out at the same time and now we're gonna jump into a heavy game which is Asphalt 9 another legendary game of the test that we always check out on the latest devices let's see which one prevails both are loading and Okay, so the S24 Ultra, definitely faster there. Now let's see if the iPhone can make a comeback when it comes to in-game loading time. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, so it seems like the iPhone did come back. We have faster loading time of the in-game on the 15 Pro Max. Again, both phones are looking incredible. And by that, I mean both phones are running this game at 60 frames per second at the top of the line performance next up we have tiktok and that is a bit quicker on the galaxy s24 ultra again different feed but both phones are very very quick checking out my profile that got loaded up pretty fast in both phones by the way do follow me on tiktok I really want to grow there so I can post more so link for that is in the description moving on to pubg mobile let's see which one pulls through with one of the best, if not the best, fan favorite game for, you know, for both Android and iOS. So you can see the iPhone definitely quicker there with the loading times. The S24 Ultra was just a little bit behind, but not a big difference. Let's see the in-game performance on both phones. Both phones are loading up the stage. Galaxy S24 Ultra is the first one to finish. iPhone still taking some time. Let's go ahead and check out the performance on the S24 Ultra. Snapdragon Agent 3 is just built for games like PUBG. I mean, this is such a smooth, incredible performance. Checking out the on-the-ground performance. Again, no lag whatsoever. It looks extra special on this completely flat display. Now let's check it out on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Once again, as expected, as we have seen before, this is one of the best phone for gaming and PUBG is no exception very very smooth performance indeed now checking out the on the ground performance you can see looking very very well on the iphone 15 pro max as usual same thing with the s24 ultra agent 3 is a full-on beast look at how smooth everything is like these phones are the best for gaming of course there will be difference of how you like these phones in terms of visual uh, visual look goes so dynamic island versus the punch hole but yeah this is PUBG on both phones we're just gonna exit out of this app now time to do a video rendering comparison on both phones we are using Adobe Premiere Rush on both devices you can see the iPhone was a little bit quicker loading up the app now I've just created a new timeline on both phones with a 4K 120 FPS clip shot on Sony A7S III. Let's check out the timeline movement, how quick this is. Yeah, very quick, very smooth on both phones, no uh, skipping of the frames whatsoever. Now let's apply a color LUT on the clip on both devices. Time to export this clip at the same time on both phones in 1080p, here we go. Wow, look at that speed performance upgrade on the S24 Ultra. I mean, it used to be so behind compared to iPhone's rendering performance. It is still behind, iPhone is just too good, but you can see the difference. Hats off to Qualcomm for the year-on-year -year improvement. This has to be the best video performance, video rendering performance we have seen out of any Samsung flagship phone in a year. Hats off. Very, very impressive indeed. Now lastly, we have a browser war. We're using Samsung Internet Browser against Apple's default Safari browser. Launching Phone Arena in 3, 2, 1, go. And as you can see, both phones were pretty neck and neck. I believe the iPhone is still loading up the ads, but in terms of loading up the website, that was very quick on both phones. Again, scrolling is looking absolutely smooth next up we have wikipedia.org and that is pretty much neck and neck on both devices once again very very buttery performance when it comes to scrolling now time for ram management and see if these apps are still open in the background or not starting with geekbench 6 that is still there on both phones you guys remember that is the very first app we opened for this test and it's still there. Phone dialer, still there. We are jumping back to settings, Subway Surfers. 
that is still there on both phones. So far, so good. No refreshes whatsoever. Spotify, still there. ChatGPT, still there. Quora, absolutely impressive performance on both phones. Instagram, still there. Twitter, YouTube, as Fault 9. Both devices are still keeping this game in the memory. This is just an in-app refresh. TikTok, still there. PUBG Mobile, and that is also still there on both phones. Incredible. We're back to Adobe Rush. And finally, we're back to where we ended the test, and that is the browsers. Absolute flawless victory when it comes to RAM management on both phones. So there you have it, guys. I have to say the performance on the S24 Ultra has improved so, so much. Not only Samsung has achieved their perfect form when it comes to animations, just like iOS, like I couldn't really see any difference at all. Surprisingly, Agent 3's rendering times are massively improved to the point where it was almost very close to the rendering times of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, combined with perfect RAM management. I have to say hats off to not just Samsung but also Apple for the incredible performance. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below for this test and if you guys are new here, please be sure to subscribe. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.